Hi, uh, me again. Uh, so, uh, in the previous video, I showed you the uh, the waveform and uh, what it does, what, what this uh, circuit does. You're gonna excuse the paint, uh, the painting on the board. Um, it's just, uh, it was just a test here. Uh, I much prefer this uh, color of the of the any 555 circuit so uh, it's much better uh, uh, it's much better blue and uh, but I want now in this video we'll put aside the, the actual board uh, we'll put aside everything and we'll show you how actually this circuit works I hope I'm focused right so you have this switch here in the in the upper position this switch you can see one of the sides goes uh, to the 5 volt so this is 5 volt one of the side goes to 5 volts and uh, through 10k uh, resistor uh, goes uh, to this uh, to this transistor space. You can see the other side, the the other uh, switch here it, uh, goes uh, from uh, zero volts. So this is ground. Goes from ground. You can see that it is actually ground. It's connected right from here, right to here. It's actually ground. So uh, this is connected to ground, and it goes right here on this uh, voltage uh, divider here. And wait, uh, here is a little disclaimer that I noticed uh, uh, right after uh, recording this video. Uh, this uh, 10k, uh, this 1k uh, resistor, I removed it uh, here. Uh, I don't know, on the board because uh, this voltage divider will give um, uh, won't give a five volts here uh, will give something like uh, something uh, uh, like one point something volts uh, so it won't be enough to turn uh, on this uh, uh, transistor to discharge the capacitor I will explain this uh, in a minute uh, or, or I have explained it I noticed uh, right now uh, here you can see that this uh, resistor is here is removed and uh, this here uh, instead of 4.7 I have put in 1k resistor but try either 1k uh, or 10k resistor to have uh, on this uh, base because 10k is just enough I have here 10k resistor so uh, here possibly 10k resistor is a great uh, choice uh, without this 1k resistor here I will uh, update this schematic uh, on uh, on my blog and uh, uh, I will have everything on the uh, YouTube description uh, everything corrected uh, so uh, yes uh, go back to the video so this on by default if this switch is turned off so it's off right now it's off it's not on it's not closed it's open circuit you have 5 volts flowing into the base of the of this transistor All right, let me just uh, a minute yes okay now I can see better uh, 5 volts uh, uh, flowing in here, in here, into the base of this transistor. I may need to to actually uh, make it to make it better uh, looking the schematic, but whatever. Five volts. So uh, here, five volts are. Uh, this transistor is uh, closed. So uh, here, five volts can flow right onto this. Uh, path here and this capacitor doesn't charge but what we see from the other transistor is that we can see that this transistor doesn't get any voltage so it does not get any voltage here it's 5 volts but the switch is is, uh, is open it, it does not uh, get any voltage here uh, any uh, any potential 
So, uh, this uh, 5 volts from here through the 1K resistor charges the capacitor in relation um, ship uh, to, to the ground here. It's a little bit complicated to see, but this is ground here. So, in relationship to the ground, it charges uh, this capacitor up. So, we, we say that this capacitor has some charge here. Okay, so this here uh, has some potential because we have 22k uh, and uh, this, uh, this here can, the current can flow and we say uh, that here we have 22k, it does not uh, have to do anything with the capacitor so we have, uh, we have here, here the same thing. Uh, so th these are uh, all uh, closed transistors so a current can flow through them and no current flows neither through this dial nor to this dial it all flows on the ground here from the this is 5 volts by the way 5 volts all current goes here all all everything goes goes to the ground so this is in the idle state right now idle so this is we do nothing here the the, the switches is is, uh, is open uh, there's nothing flowing through the switch there's this this is charged this is a charge capa capacitor here so uh, there's nothing through the switch charge capacitor there's there's nothing on the base here to discharge this capacitor and this is uh and there there uh, is uh, here uh flowing some amount of uh, little current uh, through the transistor so this capacitor doesn't get charged uh in the idle state you have around uh, around 11 i think milliamps uh milliamps of current flowing um uh, so uh, this uh, around 11 milliamps of current uh, through all of this circuit so we have this here current one of the flowing here so because it doesn't charge this capacitor we have current flowing down we have a current flowing th uh, through the 1k resistor and through the two transistor down to the to the uh, ground so this around five uh, this around five milliamps and this around five milliamps I think so So, what if we close the switches? Let's see, for example, we decide now it's the time to turn on some, some gadget into the computer or something. We close the switch, we should get a pulse here, but how? Here's how. We close now the switch. Here, five volts are going flowing through this 10k resistor which is just enough to open to get a base current here and to get this current so let me just to get this current here and to discharge this capacitor while discharging this capacitor into the ground here it creates a negative voltage potential which opens this transistor and this voltage uh, and this current instead of going to the ground goes through this diode which subsequently goes to the output or to a diode or to a, an LED so we can we can see here so uh, we have this um, this here flowing but that's short here let me show you what happens on the other side on the other side you have this you have this voltage here that is 5 volts now going through this switch and going through 0 volts connecting it like let me show this 5 volts going through the switch going through zero volts right here connected so the potential here is zero 
this capacitor starts to charge up. But charging this capacitor, you need a ground here something. So you have this opens too. So you this uh, this opens right, and uh, you have voltage flowing through here. If you don't if you don't have this diode, actually the circuit doesn't work on the one side. On uh, this side will work, but this side won't. So you have all this now. How does it go to the idle state when this capacitor is discharged? This capacitor is discharged. You have here enough, enough. Now it's not a negative potential. Now it's going. It's going. This was a negative potential when it's discharging the capacitor. Now it's going to a positive voltage, and this transistor. goes th there's current flowing through it it's it's closed this transistor is closed so the other thing the the other the other side is the same uh you have you have now charged capacitor you have this 22k the same resistor having having flowing here uh, some amount of current to, to open uh, to close this uh, to close this transistor and uh, have no uh, and all of the current now will and all of the voltage will uh, will flow through the ground to the ground uh, and you would you won't have you, here on the idle state you have around I think 50 millivolts on the simulation it showed but in practice I don't know which one uh, here on, on this point uh, I don't know uh, how much you would have here because you have uh, you have two dials that are dropping here a lot of voltage uh, a lot uh, so that are dropping even when this dial at work, uh, it uh, goes at even when there's current flowing here it's a lot more but uh, they are they are here, so it's this. This is a NAND gate. You can use uh, another transistor here to, uh, but to uh, instead of these diodes, uh, you can use another transistor. But you will have to use two more, two more resistors. So it's gonna be a little bit more expensive to make. Uh, but of course you can have a lot more current uh, a lot more current can flow through the LED um, so this is uh, actually the working principle of, of this it's double it's a double monostable uh, thing uh, two monostable circuits connected uh, both to a, to an end gate and this is it this is pretty much it the other schematic I want to show you real quick uh, is the NE555 timer schematic. Uh, this is uh, just one of them. This is just one of them. Um, uh, as, as you have seen, the uh, NE555 uh, timer board uh, it has two uh, NE555s. Uh, so uh, it goes, uh, one of them generates a pulse on the, on, on, uh, on, one of the sides and the other of them generates the pulse on the other side so this is a little bit different this is just a monostable circuit with the NE555 timer unlike unlike this this is a much more complicated circuit it uh, while they're the, so the, the basic principle of this circuit is while they're they're uh, uh, they're uh, dis discharging and charging uh, you have the LED turned on if it's uh, if it's one charged and the other discharged, uh, you have uh, no current uh, flowing here, no voltage potential here. Uh, I so I haven't tried this actually on the Arduino, but from uh, from what I can uh, see, the voltage difference and what what not. So I, I think it would just work fine, and you would have enough voltage to to actually uh, drive a pin on the Arduino. Uh, 
we're gonna try it in, in a couple of the next videos we're going to try that out uh, hook up the Arduino and maybe show you actual the actual uh, simulation of this circuit uh, on the circuit wizard uh, so it's a it's a pretty old program but uh, it uh, uh, it simulates the circuit very well and uh, many of the circuits of this this kind simulates very well uh, my choice of the transistor just to mention it's a, a BC547 uh, it's a, just an ordinary universal transistor that you can use uh, uh, on everything uh, and here uh, this is as a charging transistor and this is as a, just an end gate you can use any other uh, transistor I wish I could I could see this circuit uh, made like in an IC or something but uh, I don't think there is uh, if it let me know if if there is an alternative to this circuit in maybe a, a, a better form than uh, building a PCB uh, and uh, trying it yourself uh, you can see that my PCB is pretty big because at that time I uh, I had um, like um, not much experience with uh, with the program so and the size of the PCBs and I made this PCB uh, big uh, but uh, you can make it as small as I think through here you can like half of the PCB or one fourth one third of the PCB uh, this is it for this video I hope uh, you've enjoyed uh, these two uh, electronics uh, first time I'm doing uh, first person uh, electronics uh, which is uh, really cool and uh, actually makes me uh, it, it gives me a lot of pleasure to explain in first in explaining first person in first person what actually uh, this uh, this um, uh, schematic does we're gonna take a look into many other schematics many other devices that I have built and and, and uh, will analyze uh, interesting uh, transistor schematics online so uh, if uh, if you uh, liked these videos uh, go put a um, go just click on the subscribe button and uh, that's it thanks for watching